Question two, three dominant councils that also influence Christianity. Question three, concerning question two, what did these councils contribute to influence doctrine? Question four, three words that means doctrine. Question five, in the spiritual kingdom, who was the mother of the Son of God, according to Hebrews? <coughs> the personality of God is where? Question seven, three wise men followed a star and found baby Jesus to a fault. Question eight, seven day Adventists teach an error of New Testament instructions. We have two scriptures. One clarifies new covenant, one clarifies worship of holidays. All right, let's go right to question one. Two apostate movements that greatly influenced Christianity. Name three called leaders responsible. All right, uh, Minister Kenyon. Nimrod, Samarimus, and Constantine the Great. Nebrod, Samarimus, and Constantine the Great. Who disagree? Everybody agree. That is true. Nebrod, the first one, established it on the plain of Shinar. He died and his wife took over and took upon the priestly name of the goddess Ishtar. The Bible called her Asteroid. Uh, and the third one was Constantine, who was a worshiper of Diana, who was the Roman replica of Samarimus. Or the goddess of Question two, three dominant councils also influenced Christianity. Three nominant councils. Now, there were many councils. You want three dominant councils. Dr. Peace, please. Present, Lord Kutcher, Lucia, Constantinople, and Ephesus. Amen. Nicaea, Constantinople, mm -hmm. and Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone had that right? Yeah. 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 If you didn't, you were wrong. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Council of Nicaea, 325. Council of Constantinople, 380 mm -hmm. or 82. Uh, Council of Ephesus, 440. Mm -hmm. All right. Read down the Council also influenced Christianity. Council of, we'll be done with that. All right. Question three connects this. Uh, concerning question two, what did these councils contribute to influence doctrine? All right, question, uh, uh, we're going to deal with the first council, uh, Evangelist Evans. Great Lord, I put uh, the Trinity. All right, and Trinity, the, the one of the dominant. Amen. Uh, right. Council Nicaea, was the first council. All right, uh, what influenced Christianity? They brought in the three God doctrine. Mm -hmm. All right, question two, dealing with the council of Constantinople, uh, Elder Ricky, you have your hand up. Amen. Well, Constantinople, I'll put um, the, uh, the class, the, the Ecclesial Tribunal, the Elsh and that, uh, Inquisition. All right. The Ecclesiastical Tribunal, which was the forerunner of the uh, uh, Inquisition. The Inquisition. In other words, they had a legal right now. Anyone who did not worship according to the decree set forth in Nicaea 325, they could arrest you, take your property, even put you to death. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, what about the decree of the three emperors? That, that, that oh. also, oh, okay. yes. Okay. Decree of the three emperors, okay. yes. Okay. Also at the Council of Constantinople. All right. Question uh, the right, three of, of this question. Was the council contribute? You know, we, we, we dealt with Nicaea, mm -hmm. we dealt with Constantinople. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the third one was the Council of Ephesus, 440. Uh, all right, I'm. Uh, I'm praise you all. There was marriage worship. All right, the dominant factor there was marriage worship. They introduced mother cult of worship, which was simply uh, taking Istar mm -hmm. and replacing her name with Mary, and this is what the Catholic Church did. All right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, question, part one of question three was uh, the Trinity. Mm -hmm. uh, part two of question three uh, was the Ecclesiastical Tribunal or the Three Emperors. Mm -hmm. And part three of question three was uh, Ephesus or the introduction to of uh, mother worship or Mary worship. Female deity worship. Mm -hmm. 
All right, question four. Three words that means doctor. All right, Mr. Marshall. Gospel, teaching, and instruction. Mm -hmm. Everyone agree? Yeah. yeah. All right. Amen. Question five. In the spiritual kingdom, who was the mother of the Son of God according to Hebrews uh, chapter and verse? All right. All right. James. James, Lord. He didn't have a mother according to Hebrews 3. Seven. Didn't have a mother according to Hebrews Three and seven, 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 three. Seven, three. Seven, uh, <laughs> Hebrew seven, verse three. Yeah. Did not have a mother. Didn't have any beginning. Had no point of origin. But like it to the Son of God, a priest forever. Someone got that right? Yeah. Yeah. Question six. The personality of God is where? Uh, this is good one here. And the books. Person out of God, Elder Brooks said it in heaven. Who disagree? Everybody agree? Person out of God is in heaven. What do we mean by personality? Person out of God is in heaven. Who disagree? Person out of God is in heaven. Everybody agree? All right. It's bodily, it's bodily, physical being is in heaven. But the spirituality is where? Everywhere. In dwelling and in heaven. Inside of him. Yeah. But also inside of me. Yeah. And inside of you. Yeah. All right. It's in what? Right. Everyone, everyone got clear to that. Yeah. According to Jesus' only question. Question 7. Three wise men followed a star and found baby Jesus. <laughs> Let me see if I can't trap somebody. <laughs> somebody who don't have their hand up now. Oh. All right. Man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she said, false. <laughs> Three wise men followed the star. Found baby Jesus. She said, false. Who put truth? All right. Uh, Evangelist Roger, how come it's not true? Praise the Lord. The Bible doesn't specify how many wise men there are. All right. It's a wise man. You can say how many. Question 8. Seven dead men just teach an error of New Testament instructions. Somebody's going to miss this. Here are two scriptures. One clarifies the New Covenant, and one clarifies uh, the worship of festivals. All right, other way. Give me the, give me the first one. Uh, okay. Hebrews 8 and 13. How many got that? Hebrews 8 and 13. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's 8 and 13. Read that again, man. In that he said, a new covenant he had made the first old. Now that was the cat that wiped the old is ready to vanish away. Eight and thirteen Hebrews. Amen. That is correct. Amen. Okay. All right. All right. Now, dealing with the worship of holidays or festivals. Book, chapter, verse. All right, I like that Colossians 2 and 16. Colossians 2 and 16. Colossians 2 and 16. You disagree? Alright, come on. Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or 